Well, Bob Ruparva, you must be the smartest man in the world, man, <laughs> to tackle the battery problems we have. Man, I'm throwing batteries out, it seems like, every day of my life. And they go into landfills, they're ruining the planet and everything. And we, it seems like we haven't figured out technology enough, you know, until you came along to solve this problem. So you're going to get almost like the average person with a battery now is going to save, you know, like five to eight times the price of a battery with just a little slim device you put around the battery and it lasts up to eight times longer. Wow! And it costs almost nothing to get your <laughs> little sleeve or battery sleeve or whatever. It's just genius. Why are you such a genius? And it <laughs> How did you come up with this to do this? Well, uh, my brother Frankie is uh, is a holder of over 500 patents. Wow! So you is a younger brother or older brother? He's a he's a younger brother. Ah, see the uh, <laughs> he had to work harder. Huh? Yeah, he, he, he he's a genius. He, he really is a great guy. And uh, once uh, he was in Tahoe with his kids, and they wanted to have battery, they ran out of battery at 11 o'clock at night in a cold snowy night. <laughs> You know, being being an electrical engineer, he always carries a voltmeter. He goes and look at the bin of the used one, the used batteries, and he finds out that most of the batteries have 1.3, 1.4 volts, uh, and but they didn't, but they weren't working under the device. And uh, when he came back from Tahoe, he says, "You're in the power management. Uh, is there any way that we can boost up this voltage?" I said, "Yeah, absolutely, we can do it." And he says, is there any energy left? And we sat down and did quite a bit of calculation. We found out there were a significant amount of energy still left in most of those batteries that uh, that they were in his, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> candidate to end up in a landfill. So uh, then we put a patent together and, uh, and we started working on, on this project. And the project was, you know, to, to be able to uh, extract and harness all the remaining energy out of every battery before it gets thrown away because it saves consumer time, it saves them money, it's convenient, and also save our planet. Yeah. Uh, therefore, we started working hard at it, and the, the challenge was you know, to design our own IC, to, to design our own. It's an integrated chip, IC, right? <laughs> you had to teach me before. And the, the, the sleeve, in a matter that it will fit most compartments. I mean, yeah. you know, imagine that, uh, uh, the, the jewel thief has been around, you know, the concept of boosting a voltage has been around for a long time. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, but however, the fact that we have been able to miniaturize the product um, and being able to put it in, you know, in the battery, uh, you know, slip the battery on it and put it inside the device, it has to be so thin that it can fit the device. And also, uh, the genius idea about this whole thing is you know, the, the boost circuitry that we have in there, it starts from 0 0.5 volts all the way to 1.5 volts. So such part, such part that it can put out over 1.5 amp of current uh, doesn't exist in the market. So we had to go and, and you know, and come up with a design of uh, this IC as well. Uh, so there's been there's been tremendous amount of uh, work that we have put into to get to where we are at this point. Wow. So in other words, you, you explained earlier, like you're, you're really the guy who's rolling up the bottom of the toothpaste tube to have all the juice on top to, to make your stuff still run like four, five, six, seven, eight times longer than they are now by just putting this little coat on the battery that doesn't affect the size hardly at all, does it? That's right. That's right. It's and very that, thin And that was the, the, the key that you were able to miniaturize this chip enough now to be able to do that finally. That's right. Uh, the miniaturization has been able to, you know, has enabled us actually to achieve uh, uh, where we are right now. So now on, on Indiegogo, man, and you're selling a heck out of this thing. You got thousands and thousands of people <laughs> because for 20 bucks you get into this thing, right? And, and you can, you know, well, you're going to make 20 bucks back in a, in a few days almost, at least in my house, you know, to, to do this. And uh, and you're going to be shipping in November. And so, uh, and really, as long as the campaign is on, otherwise you may have to wait for a long time to see these again. So it's really behooves people if you're spending too much on batteries you need one of these and it's all about technology isn't it that, that drives everything now and is going to save so many problems we have it, it really is I mean I mean, I mean uh, 
this is very simple, elegant technology, and everybody, when you talk with them, most engineers says, my goodness, how come we didn't think about this? <laughs> it's so simple, and it's so elegant, and so disruptive yeah. and innovative at the same time. So uh, uh, we believe that this is going to be a game changer. This is yeah. going to be absolutely somebody that everybody can use, and uh, on the average, every household uh, has 28 uh, different battery-operated devices, and on the average, every device takes a couple of, couple of batteries. So uh, a regular household can go through 60 batteries per year. So, you know, having, wow. having a batterizer to be able to extract all the energy out of the battery before you throw it away, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. Well, just the thought of replacing. I mean, if I get this, and you know, maybe it goes out in two months. Now I have maybe a year before I have to change the battery. I mean, that, that, that's phenomenal to me. You know, I don't have to worry about. I just my, my lights went out about two two hours ago, and, and I ran for the battery. You know, the, my flashlight, and that sucker was <laughs> dead. My battery, my flashlight was dead. Thank God it was still light outside here. I, I really didn't need it. But that's a life with this. So you're going to extend that life for us and, and solve so many problems. And, and I think the landfill issue is probably the most important thing, uh, you know, the, for the environment kind of wise. And it, and it took, you know, you and your brother, or is it your brother and you, the younger brother is smarter? My goodness, I'm not going to tell my younger brother that. <laughs> oh, he's, a, he's a genius. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. And to find out more about this, you got wonderful videos on, on your Indiegogo site. I love watching all the videos, even with the little, uh, you know, toy that's, you know, the, the monkey that's clapping the symbols. It's a wonderful video. And it's Batterizer, B A T T E R. I S E R, right? Dot com. It rises the battery. It rises the voltage. Right. It, it resurrects the battery. Oh, breaks the back to life. That's it. It's rising. Rolling up the tube on the toothpaste, right? <laughs> and we mentioned earlier, it's raising the water, not lowering the bridge. And it, and it took your genius brother to do that, and you're just along for the ride. That's nice. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Bob. Fun to talk with you. And a great product, and thanks for saving our energy <laughs> problems, and more important, our money, man. We're wasting money on batteries. Now we don't have to. Thank you so much.